ಹಾಯ್ ಎಲ್ಲರಿಗೂ ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ ನಾನು ನೀತು ಮಾತನಾಡ್ತಾ ಇರೋದು ಸೊ ಇವತ್ತು ನಾನು ಮಣಿಪಾಲ್ ಹಾಸ್ಪಿಟ್ಲಿಗೆ ಬಂದಿದ್ದೀನಿ ಯಾವ ಯೂನಿಟ್ ಅಂತ ಕೇಳಿದರೆ ಮಿಲ್ಲರ್ಸ್ ರೋಡಲ್ಲಿರುವಂತಹ ಮಣಿಪಾಲ್ ಹಾಸ್ಪಿಟ್ಲಿಗೆ ಬಂದಿದ್ದೀನಿ ಸೊ ಇಂಡಿಯಾಸ್ ಒನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಬೆಸ್ಟ್ ಲೀಡಿಂಗ್ ರೆನೌಡ್ ಬೇರಿಯಾಟ್ರಿಕ್ ಹಾಗೂ ಲ್ಯಾಪ್ರೋಸ್ಕೋಪಿಕ್ ಸರ್ಜನ್ ಆಗಿರುವಂತಹ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಮೊಯ್ನುದ್ದೀನ್ ಅವ್ರನ್ನ ಮಾತಾಡ್ಸೋಣ ಕೆಲವು ಕ್ವೆಶನ್ಸ್ ತುಂಬ ಜನರಿಗೆ ಇರುತ್ತಲ್ವಾ ಆ್ಯಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಬೇರಿಯಾಟ್ರಿಕ್ ಸರ್ಜರಿ ಅಂದರೆ ಏನು ಅದ್ರ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಏನು ಭಯ ಇದೆ ಅವರಿಗೆ ಮಿತ್ ಏನಿದೆ ಸತ್ಯ ಏನಿದೆ ರಿಯಾಲಿಟಿ ಏನಿದೆ ಸೊ ಇದನ್ನೆಲ್ಲ ಸಪ್ರೇಟ್ ಮಾಡಿ ನಾವು ಡೈರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಆಗಿ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಸರ್ಜನಿಂದಾನೇ ಕೇಳೋಣ ಅಂತ ಅವ್ರನ್ನ ಮಾತಾಡ್ಸೋಕ್ಕೆ ಅಂತ ಬಂದಿದ್ದೀನಿ ಸೊ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಜಾಯ್ನ್ ಅಸ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕಾನ್ವರ್ಸೇಷನ್ ನನ್ನ ಜೊತೆ ಇದ್ದಾರೆ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಮೊಯ್ನುದ್ದೀನ್ ಸರ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಫಾರ್ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ಮಿ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಲ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಸೋ ಮೆನಿ ಕ್ವೆಶನ್ಸ್ ಟು ಆಸ್ಕ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಪರವಾಗಿಲ್ಲ ಎಷ್ಟು ಕ್ವೆಶನ್ಸ್ ಆದರೂ ಕೇಳಿ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ದೀರಾ ದಟ್ಸ್ ರಿಯಲಿ ನೈಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಯು ಐ ಥಿಂಕ್ ಆಡಿಯನ್ಸ್ ಪರವಾಗಿ ಐ ವಾಂಟ್ ಟು ಆಸ್ಕ್ ಯು ಫ್ಯೂ ಕ್ವೆಶನ್ಸ್ ಬಟ್ ಸೊ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಇಂಟ್ರೊಡಕ್ಷನ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ ಎವ್ರಿಬಡಿ ನೋಸ್ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಗೂಗಲ್ ಮಾಡಿದ ತಕ್ಷಣ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಮೊಯ್ನುದ್ದೀನ್ ಇಂಡಿಯಾಸ್ ಬೆಸ್ಟ್ ಅಂತ ಒನ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಂಡಿಯಾಸ್ ಬೆಸ್ಟ್ ಅಂತ ಬಂದೇ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಶಲೈ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಟ್ಲಿ ಬೊಂಬಾಡಿ ವಿತ್ ದ ಕ್ವೆಶನ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಸಿ ನಮ್ಮ ಬಿ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ಫಿಲ್ಮ್ ಇಂಡಸ್ಟ್ರಿ ನಮ್ಮ ಆಕ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ಆಗಲಿ ಆಕ್ಟ್ರೆಸಸ್ ಆಗಲಿ ಎಲ್ಲರಿಗೂ ಒಂದು ಇರೋ ಥಿನ್ ಆಗಿರಬೇಕು ಅನ್ನೋ ಒಂದು ಮೊದಲು ತುಂಬ ಪ್ರೆಷರ್ ಇರ್ತಾ ಇತ್ತು ಸೊ ಐ ಮೈ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಹೆಡ್ ಗಾಟ್ ಅನ್ನ ಲೈಫೋ ಸಕ್ಷನ್ ಸರ್ಜರಿ ಡನ್ ಕಾಸ್ಮೆಟಿಕ್ ಸರ್ಜರಿ ಬಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಕೋರ್ಸ್ ಟುಡೇ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಸ್ಪೀಕಿಂಗ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಬೇರಿಯಾಟ್ರಿಕ್ ಸೊ ತುಂಬ ಡೀಪಾಗಿ ಹೋಗೋದಕ್ಕೂ ಮುಂಚೆ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಐ ವಾಂಟ್ ಟು ಆಸ್ಕ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಯು what exactly is bariatric surgery and who are the type of clients who actually the patients who come to you yes actually people should understand the bariatric word is derived from the word called baros baros means mm. overweight oh the surgery done to treat overweight is called bariatric surgery it's very clear right right so because as you mentioned liposuction right lipo is removal of fat from the specific areas of the yes. body it's a yes. cosmetic procedure cosmetic yes it doesn't result in much weight loss Bariatric surgery is a weight loss surgery. <laughs> yes, true. <laughs> so, bariatric surgery is a weight loss surgery. Liposuction is a cosmetic surgery. Right. Two completely different absolutely, things. Absolutely, absolutely. So, with bariatric surgery, what happens? People lose uh, whatever the excess weight they have. Ah, For example, uh, someone is 40 kgs overweight. They lose at 40 kgs. It okay. doesn't happen with liposuction. Liposuction, true. maybe 3 or 4 kgs, that subcutaneous fat goes up and it's a cosmetic thing. Yes. It is more of a cosmetic contouring than a contouring yes. kind of thing. Yes. Shaping surgery. But bariatric surgery is a weight loss surgery. Mm-hmm. So, who are the kind of patients who actually visit you? Because... Uh, from what i learned about you is that you know that uh, not just india but people from worldwide visit yes, over here yes. and i know that there have been more than 500 surgeries in this center which is known as the center of excellence correct, here correct. so um, if there are more than 500 people visiting here uh, with with this treasure of ex, you know experience who are the kind of people who actually come to visit you and who should visit you is what you would like yeah. to say about that. usually what happens is there is uh, it is divided in the criteria of bmi body mass index right if you calculate weight in kgs by height in meter square we get a value that is called bmi hmm. for example you are 120 kgs 120 by if you are 172 cm 1.72 to 1.7 we calculate a value that okay. is called bmi bmi should be less than 25 for a normal human being right okay okay because the height the weight varies depends on height right so hmm. it is different so what happens is so the bmi is more than 32.5 Mm-hmm. with any health issues like diabetes blood pressure cholesterol qualifies for the surgery roughly using 32.5 is the mark where we decide. right and actually in our opd two type of crowds comes to us mm-hmm. one is young crowd young girls with pcod hypothyroidism and some people who are uh, married with infertility mm-hmm. those kind of crowds come to us oh. the other kind of crowd comes to us as elder people 50 year plus mm-hmm. which has severe knee pain uncontrolled right. diabetes mm-hmm. uncontrolled blood pressure cholesterol snoring in the night knee pain breathing difficulty on walking oh okay those kind of crowd will come. okay yeah. but i want to know what is it that you know drives you like what is your passion that what uh, keeps you in that passion that i must serve like what is it see i have seen many surgeries for example if
patients not only lose weight they stop the medicine for diabetes they stop the medicine for blood pressure oh. they stop the medicine for cholesterol so PCOS health. thyroid so many health issues they right. stop right so that's the thing which makes us passionate about it people come with so many health issues with a big little list of medication 15 tablets they take 10 tablets they take mm. once i do surgery within 6 months or 8 months i can't say completely but at least 8 out of 10 mm. i stop the medicines for them wow so it's <laughs> so it's basically also overall health something that is never highlighted because always it's only about weight loss weight loss weight loss weight yes. loss see what i feel is obese patients what happens the organs are under stress Double definitely wear pressure. and tear will yes. happen yes so what happens once we do the surgery the organs will have relaxation for them mm. they need not work that much to pump the blood mm. and so it's right. more uh, so it is like not only that this things health issues the longevity of the life will increase mm. people mm. may look healthy they may look charming they may look <laughs> healthy but what happens once they lose weight definitely the metabolism will improve right the longevity of the life will increase that's what i feel so people who we operate they live 10 years 15 years longer, longer than, than yes that's amazing doctor so so doctor i have just a very common question you know so tumba jana ivaga patients bandaga ellargu on goal anta irutte so do they pressurize you that nam goal ee tara ide reach aagbeku anta what is a common goal that you've heard see many of the times who comes to us 100 kg 120 kg they come and they show some actress photo and they say <laughs> we should look like this we may not make them exactly like that but at least in and around that place for right. example if a person is 100 kg they come mm. to us according to their weight they should be 60 mm. out of 40 they may lose 35 36 kg oh oh that's a big number a good number that's 90% of excess yes. weight loss yes yes so that's what happens that's what i'm saying may not be exactly that 5 kg plus or minus <laughs> we do the surgery but what happens they have to make their workouts a little bit if they make their workouts they can minimize the loose skin right many people think that when you lose weight they have loose skin no uh-huh. we have it that's right. a myth right that's what i'm saying mm. once we do a surgery mm. while losing they should do the exercises right not after losing <laughs> okay. many people do when you do the surgery they will not be visible for us for 8 months or yes. something they disappear they come back we yeah. have loose no nothing like that if you work out during the loose mm. during the weight loss process and if you are in touch with us if you are in touch with the dietitian if you are in mm. touch with our trainer we have personal training for you oh wow okay so if you do that definitely the loose skin will be minimized mm. some may not have at all but some have little loose skin but they can minimize it that's right. what i can say okay doctor uh, when patients are considering the miller's road uh, you said it is also the center of excellence here right. so uh, what should the patients actually keep in mind when they are coming to meet you or you know like what is it that they can look out for here yeah see what happens is many of the centers what happens they may be doing different surgeries hmm. uh, but the problem with india is uh, a surgeon is called general surgeon means they do general surgery they do top surgery they do bottom surgery they do up down right. surgery no right. we are not like that in our hospital Spec- we are very very specific we do this surgery day and out hmm. so what happens is the results are very good because we do it with a passion right and weight loss is our passion so not only the surgery post surgery care that's we are very good at it for example we have whatsapp groups where we add lot of patients each group has around 300 400 patients in each group oh. whatsapp group okay. in that group i am there my trainer is there my dietitians are there my whole team is wow. there coordination okay. team is there okay so post surgery also if any doubt is there in at home for example i can eat this i can't eat this what i should do what workouts i should do everything will be guided in the whatsapp okay so you need not come for a small small things here right so in this way i'll be in touch with the patients even after years after surgery five years six wow. years seven years so you literally have and holding the patients throughout yeah, we don't charge for the post op <laughs> okay that's important to know <laughs> so doctor you were just telling that you know ivaga on whatsapp group tara ide and neevu idira adralli anta so of course now yaro illa group alli so in case you have to tell the audience and the patients who are looking at this could you just walk us through what it looks like in the life of a person who wants to get the bariatric surgery done like before and what is expected after correct So what happens when the patient comes to us we will uh, first uh, take his body mass analysis right. BMI right that is called body mass I'll show in the later my OPD right what happens is we calculate the body mass index in a machine so we will get to know how much exactly fat percentage is how much excess weight you are how much muscle weight you have how much water weight you have mm. how much mineral weight you have okay. and where and all the fat is distributed 
okay. how much you need to lose mm-hmm. how much inside fat that is called visceral fat people will be thinking this is fat outside below skin no yes. <laughs> there is something called inside fat which is attached to the intestine so we all have google knowledge so that's <laughs> why we're asking you <laughs> yeah that is inside fat right. is a danger fat right the fat attached to the intestines inside the abdomen right is that's what reduces post bariatric surgery that's how you get to oh, lose so mostly the, on the how okay. inside inside, inside. Uh, abdomen fat that is the disease there's a fat which is responsible for diseases okay. that will go down Okay, Once it goes down, the diabetes, blood pressure, everything will get under control. Okay, so I, I also want to ask you, doctor. So, even if any of your health bugger health, you know, ultimately people want to become thin. So, what exactly is thin body for you? Like, what do you think that is? And are all thin people healthy according to you? No, not all healthy people are thin. Right. The thing is, uh, in Indians. is indians americans you see this two different scenarios huh. indians are thin fat people we call it as what is thin means the hands and legs are thin huh. we have a central pot belly <laughs> that is the That's indian cultural scenario thing. cultural thing <laughs> yes this is not healthy okay people think it's healthy because our hands and legs are no you mm. have lot of fat inside the abdomen which is causing right. the diseases Disease, okay. which is deranging your metabolism mm. that is slowing down your metabolism that is called basal metabolic rate right. why some people are fat and some people are thin because for example my metabolism may be good that's the reason i'm thin mm. somebody's metabolism has gone down mm. that's the reason mm. whatever you eat you may not eat also you gain weight right that is because of low metabolic doctor i'm interested to know like safety is really a big concern correct ivaga when we come there are many people who come in a very naive mindset some people who don't know how to take care of themselves may not have family with them correct. so if it is about safety one that you provide but overall what do you wish to tell the patients about this see there are a lot of myths around the safety of this procedure right but to be very frank for example i can say our cameraman kiran is so he is doing the same work every day correct he does this good job yes <laughs> if i come and do that i may not be good at it right right that's, that's the reason i am also trained in so many countries for it right that's the reason we can produce our results good hmm. understand hmm. so i do the same procedure every day every day hmm. so i may be good in it correct so Naturally. that is the reason the results will become better if you get that surgery in a center where they are doing more surgeries So we have a separate camera for it. We have a separate OT for it. We have a separate team for it. We have a separate dietitian right, for it. Right. We have a separate trainers for it. Everything is separate. Okay. So in this way, the results are good. Okay. We don't see much complications here. Right. Because we do it every day. Correct. That's true, doctor. So, but what are the risk factors involved? If there are any, you know, like if somebody wants it for their health purpose, but right. they are not reaching out because they are worried about the risk factor, what would you say is a risk? I factor? feel being obese is more riskier than doing a surgery. <laughs> okay. Because the reason is, <laughs> when you are obese, your organs are getting damaged, your liver is getting affected, your kidney is getting affected, your your nervous system is getting affected, your mental health is getting affected, you are getting depressed. So many things are happening being obese. Okay. Now, if I do a surgery, for example, within a week the patient loses six kgs. Mm. They started walking. The breathing difficulty comes down. While mm. claiming stairs, they have breathing difficulty that comes down. Within a month, we stop the medicine for diabetes. Mm. Within one week or ten days, the patient starts walking normally. Right. Within two months or three months, the patient starts running. Okay. So definitely. it's get better with the surgery and the complication what people say is the complication is 0.5 to 1% mm, mm. for example we are all sitting here what's the guarantee that we may cross road safely hmm. there's no guarantee true true i agree so here why we are saying manipal miller road is our complication rates are far far less less sir okay very very safely we are doing so they can actually come to you with that confidence they just have to surrender like this you said free. you said worldwide people come yes see nowadays what happens money is not an issue on those times true. money was an issue now true true 4 by lakhs is not a big issue correct so now people will go to the place where it is done safely absolutely even you have to travel seven oceans they go and travel yes yes so that's the reason we do it safely that's a world of mouth which spreads everywhere that doesn't people come from across the globe because right. people want to see how safely who can do this safely so that's the reason people uh, prefer how, this how many days are they expected to stay here doctor like when they get see, the roughly two nights there. two nights okay one day prior admission okay. one day later discharge discharge but that's surgery takes only one hour within two hours i'll make them walk there is no bed rest at all oh there okay. is no bed rest at all at least in cesarean you have to be bed rest 
no here there is no bed rest at all okay within 2 hours i'll make them walk every one hour they'll be walking next day i discharge them right okay so how so quick it is ha so that is about getting discharged from here but then overall how much time does it take for a person's body to adjust to the new person that that see, he happens, or she has become only side effect which i feel about this surgery is you eat less they don't, it's not like they can't eat okay we, see we do bypass we don't do sleep there are so many type of surgeries here right in bypass they eat decent okay. after one one half year my patients eat three idlis at one okay. what else you want Correct. It's normally with three idlis. So what happens is, huh. over a period of time, the the stomach also stretches a little bit. Hmm. They start eating good amount of food. good amount of food. We have patients who are six years, four years, seven years post surgery. Huh. They are eating four four idlis at one time, like normally what we eat. Right. That's enough. Over a period of time, your quantity will increase. But it's like in one lifetime, you can just have like one bariatric surgery, <laughs> right? Is nothing that? like that. We can do n number of times. Is that so? Yes. Would you like to elaborate on that, doctor? So some patients, sir, they do a basic procedure called sleep. Some people, sleeve. what happens? Okay. Sleeve and all. In sleeve, now we reduce the size of the stomach. Mm. We don't do anything else. Okay. So what happens? This stomach will stretch over a period of time. The patients can't eat much. They can eat only 15 to 20 percent, but they start cheating on the soft calories. They right. drink, they drink, drink beer. Yeah. Okay. That is called soft calorie cheating. Mm. So like this, if they are not disciplined, they may gain mm. little weight. So those okay. patients, we convert this sleeve into bypass. Okay. That is the reason Manipal uh, Miller Road. Mm. We straight forward go for bypass. If I do a surgery, they should not come back again to us. <laughs> That's what our aim is. So it's like one time, one and time. they don't come. Most back. of the time, so. when they are in touch with us, they never gain weight. Okay, yeah, that's what. So that's what it is. So, um, ivaga tumba kare na wo noor TV vagna online shopping mart be kadre like when or any other shopping doctor. I see that you know we have clothes up to L at the most XL. Sometimes it's double XL. Correct. There's never a three XL or so. But nowadays people have started becoming more inclusive. But na ne in kele dini antandre in this center of excellence, Miller's Road Ali, Doctor Mohanan, you've done something very amazing. That is your doors are like inclusive. The chairs. are inclusive i was really very touched when i heard uh, it because uh, yes only obese people know what's yes. going through it and it's so embarrassing when there's nothing that fits them correct so uh, i know that you are a surgeon and obviously you will think about it but what is that point that actually made you feel that i should do this for the people see madam i was trained in belgium taiwan korea bombay delhi i was part of so many celebrity surgeries whatever in bollywood we have done so many yeah okay so but the problem here is what i feel is if a person comes into our opd walks into our opd he shall never feel embraced where he should sit he should not think twice where i should sit yes our opd is i will show you later our opd is designed in that way it's an obesity clinic all mm-hmm. our of sofas are there and no chair is like this normally yeah like just the small one which only a kid no, can no no like that <laughs> you should tummy should not hang out nothing like that yes. we have designed like that right what about the tablets the medications i'm a little interested to know because uh, it can also leave a lot of uh, residual feelings in people so what about the medications doctor no, actually the uh, for example if a person walks into a opd mm-hmm. they always say sir surgery nahi kuch aur bata dijiye that's what they say But they are meeting a surgeon for that. I know, I know. Yeah. Okay. Because what happens? The whole, the lot of people who are surviving on weight loss. Right. Starting from to weight, travel life, this medicines, tablets, and all. Hmm. People who try everything, hmm. and they come back to us. Okay. The thing is, it will not work. Over a period of time, mm. for example, you start on some tablets or some herbal diet, mm. some keto diet, something. You may initially lose your weight. Initially, you may lose weight. Correct. You may lose your water weight and some amount right. of fat weight. Over a period of once you stop doing that, you are back again. Right. Not sustainable. Yes. And the, when you are back again, they are more than what you lost. That's true. So when they come to the, they they have uh, tried and exhausted with this all this failed attempts. Mm. They come back to us. They say, doctor, I want to do a permanent solution. I want to fix it. permanent in my life hmm. that's how surgery works hmm. if you are post surgery you are disciplined enough to walk half an hour or one hour per day hmm. you will never gain back weight if you are out of sweets and sugars and bakery items post surgery hmm. you will not gain back weight okay and if you are disciplined enough you will not have loose skin right so that's the reason post surgery it is like a permanent fixation of weight okay so, so i just wanted to know about the tablets like doctor is it is it too much that they need to consume and things like that like post surgery or doctor yes yeah. yes post surgery you know you don't give any weight loss medicines right we give okay. only multivitamins just what a people every day one has taken corona Correct. calcium <laughs> multivitamin right. neurobion and all yes. these things and along with it um, protein powders 
Okay. That's what we give. So that's not like a tablet, that's tablet, not, not, not like the medication. supplementation. Yeah, it's supplement. a multivitamin supplementation with protein. Right, yeah. right. So I want to ask something which is uh, I think is a very sensitive thing, uh, which I feel is. Um, when patients talk to you do you fully know are they fully ready when they come to you doctor because many many times they come to you out of shame sometimes they come to you out of pressure sometimes they just don't know what to do with their life so a lot happens in the mind also correct so before i get into more serious discussion i want to know do you kind of like you know when you look at the patients do you feel they are fully ready for it and if they are not if they are still dilly dallying i know you assured them but I'm just saying sometimes the patients come to you with half mindset. Correct. Does the surgery still work for them? I mean, what happens is, madam, people who come with full mindset is some of their brother would have done, huh. some sister would have done, so they have mother would have done. Uh-huh. They know everything about it. Huh. So then they are prepared. They just come. come. Doctor, come huh. karo surgery. When are you doing? Huh. When is the date? That's right. one thing. Huh. The other kind of patients who come to us, they know only half of it. They would have known about YouTube, Google, and all. They would have searched something. Huh. They would have heard good or sometimes good, sometimes bad. Those kind of patients are a little in dilemma. Correct. So yes. they come here. Yes. They yes. come to us and they say, Doctor, I'm really confused what to do. I have exhausted all the efforts, but <laughs> I don't know what to do. I know this is the only way which is uh, Correct. left for me. And it's a permanent way, but uh, what to do? I'm a little confused. Hmm. So those kind of patients, what we say is, uh, we say that we are always there post-surgery for them to support. Okay. Okay. Yeah, like you said. Assurance. Was, yes. And one thing is, we invite them for our support group meetings mm-hmm. where we call uh, post surgery patients mm-hmm. in one hall mm-hmm. hundreds of patients come who are done surgery already okay so those meetings they can attend and decide about the surgery when they are doubtful uh-huh. and they can speak to our old patients Correct. they can be in our groups right 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 and one more thing what i feel is we can't really convince anyone for a surgery absolutely we can really not convince convince we can put our point of view correct we can solve their doubts but it's up to them totally. Yeah, it's up to so them. So you will totally. wait for them to, yes, so yes. that it comes from them. I think if they are mentally prepared by themselves, the results great. are good. So if we were to, if I were to ask you about the mental health support that a patient who comes to you and you know gets the surgery done, what is the mental health and the emotional support that is available for the clients? Yeah, I should not say this, but I think eighty percent of this world is depressed. I agree. One or other way. Yes. They may be depressed financially, psychologically, wife, Familiar, kids, kids. Uh, responsibilities, Husbands thinking also. of future, yes. <laughs> and many of the things, 30% are overthinkers. Yes. Yes. If I yes. do like this, like this, this, they go somewhere else. So this right. is a problem. You're right. yes. And especially this obese patient, they face social stigma. For the problem is, wherever the joke starts, they tends on obese person. Absolutely. One thing, whatever in India, what happens is, for example, in India, Whoever is lobbies, they make fun of it. Yes, yes. So in this way, what happens is, uh, in this way, the patients are mentally depressed. Right. They will be on medication also. They will be on therapy also who comes yes. to us. Yes. They say more than the physical thing, mental thing is bothering them. That's the thing, yes. yes. For those kind of patients, what we do is, we have psychologists who can guide them before the surgery. Ah, so they are available here. Yeah, yeah. Okay. We guide them before the surgery and we mentally prepare them for the surgery. And post-surgery, we are always there. We always tell them, ping us anytime. Hmm. You yeah. have a doubt that, at 6 o'clock, you ping us. We'll yes, respond. that is one thing I think which you have consistently told throughout the interview that we are there. Mm. They are them. always there. Always there. A person requires an assurance. Right. Any person requires an assurance. I am there. Right. Then they will sleep peacefully. <laughs> yes, yes doctor. Actually, right? because if suddenly the doctor or somebody just becomes unreachable, then they are like, oh my god, who's there for me They now? can catch us anytime here. <laughs> so they are always there. Nothing to right. worry about it. Right, doctor. So the assurance, which is important. Right. And many of the times what happens is psychiatric patients, because of the medicine, they gain weight. They are schizophrenic or depressed. This medicines which you take for depression, psychiatric hmm. condition, this make them gain weight. But is it okay to work on them also, doctor, if yeah. they are under medication yeah, for because something? because I'll tell you one thing. When are you on medication, it is all about per kg body weight. If yeah. I am 60 kg, dolo 650 is the correct dose for me. <laughs> right. If I am 100 kg, two dolo 650s I require. Oh, Correct, okay. right? Per kg body weight. Okay. Any tablet is like the tone. Okay. So when they lose weight, okay. the doses will come down. 
Well, doctor, one more important question. That time you already said, you know, when we were speaking that people who do all kinds of diets and it's not sustainable and so they become double the weight they were. So with bariatric, is there any such uh, fear that it might be reversed again? I think bariatric surgery is designed in that way to maintain the long-term weight loss. Hmm. Many of the patients will have fear that if I do the surgery, this is a permanent. Hmm. I can't eat again? No. Huh. Huh. If the patient gains, for example, after 8 months or 10 months, once they reach the target, hmm. we can always reverse them. We can reverse into normal stomach again. Is that so? Yeah, it's possible. That's oh. a bypass we do. Bypass we can reverse into normal stomach again. So that will mean like double For times? example, for huh. example, a person is 100 kgs. Okay. He becomes 60. Hmm. So 40 kgs they have lost. Hmm. Now they say, no, I can maintain. Please reverse my stomach into normal stomach. I can do it. Okay. With the keyhole again, with the keyhole, keyhole surgery, the laparoscope. I can reverse it again. Okay, okay. okay. So it is possible. Yeah, reverse can, that's the happiest moment for anyone. <laughs> if I can reverse, that's very good. Right, right, yes. How important is the support of the family? What is happening is, family support is a key, <laughs> but without family support also patient can manage. How exactly, uh -huh. I tell you. Yeah. So initially when you do the surgery, initially 15 days the patient will be on liquids. Oh. Clear soups, the juices, right. all this buttermilk and all this stuff. After 15 days, they start eating semi soft, pureed diet. Okay. Oats, idli, yeah. ukma, idli, the and all these things. Kind of, mashed things, yeah. soft things. Mm. After a month, we can eat normal food. Right. That's what the protocol post surgery. Mm. The help is required only for the first one month mm. to make the juices and all. If they're really, for example, if I'm working, mm. if I intervene the surgery, mm. First 15 days, what I should do is one bottle, I should make a juice, soup, buttermilk. Hmm. Alternately, sip. Correct. That's what I can manage at the office itself. Correct. After 15 days, it'll clean So basically, the... you're saying they can go to office also yeah, immediately. Yeah, like, yeah. Okay. Within a week. Ah, okay. Within a week, I always suggest them, within a week, you can be going to a normal office. work. Okay. Okay. That's hmm. how it is. There is no bed rest is required. That's what right. I'm saying. Right. No, but in what way can the family support them mentally? Now, I understand with the provision of the food. Correct. But mentally, what is the encouragement and uh, what is what is required basically from See, the family? Any person who undergoes the surgery, they'll be thinking, I'm the only one who has done the surgery. I'm the alone person who has done the surgery. This is the feeling everyone will have. So, in a bad way, you're saying? No, no, no. In a For example, way. some person in the family undergoes, some ex-person in the family hmm. undergoes surgery. Hmm. And the rest of the family members have not undergone surgery. Right. They will be eating normally. So this person will feel, I'm the oh. only person who has done the surgery. Okay. Understand, right? You will be eating less, right? So the other person will be eating normally. Correct. So oh, okay. they feel that I'm the only person who has done the surgery. Mm. So then, for that removal of this misconception, we have made a small patient support groups. Mm. Where you can, we can be added in the group where there are a lot of people like that who underwent the surgery. Hmm. So then you will feel that I am not the only person. So many people are there who underwent the surgery. But this is actually a real problem when everybody around you is eating normal food and you are feeling that way. So you should not feel that sinking feeling. That, that is not. the thing we have made a groups. Oh, okay. Group is not just a group. Right. Group is emotional, Understood. support, and mentally, diet wise, everything the support happens in the group. Right. If you still feel no, something has to be sorted, you can come to us. Right. We're always okay. available for that. Right. Okay. And okay. mental support from the family is very important, especially the spouse yes. support. Yes. Spouse support is very important because the spouse should say, really, it's good for your Encouragement. Done. Because yes. people should not regret post surgery. That is very important. That's the reason people should be like surrounding family should equally support them as a patient mm. correct patient is okay i want to do this right okay but mm. along with it mm. the family support should say that you have done a good thing right. you're looking good right Th that compared is to last week you're looking good <laughs> finally it's just uh, back to one important thing doctor so after a life-changing experience for people uh, how about resuming back to like i know you said they can go back in 15 days and work or they can go back in a week and they can work but for them to feel normal, how much time might it take? I think what I feel is uh, more, more than normal, they should get adjusted with the diet. It takes around a month. Mm -hmm. Within a month, they know how much to eat, what to eat, what not to eat. Okay, but we suggest, generally suggest them not to eat any sugary things and cola, Pepsi and all the stuff we have. Right. Bakery right. items, that's right. what we suggest them. Right. Remaining non-veg, whatever rasam, dal, everything they can eat in mild quantities. Right, right. So basically, it's the food that is in the mind that is. Uh, uh, okay. What is the advantage of post surgery is 
your hunger comes down hmm. which doesn't come down it's automatic you don't even have to discipline yourself ah, for it automatically right? you feel like you eat less your, your, body, your brain will say stop you yeah. stop it yeah yeah okay okay so uh, i think uh, ಬಹಳಷ್ಟು ಮುಕ್ತವಾಗಿ ಆಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ನಮ್ಮೆಲ್ಲ ಕ್ವಶನ್ಸ್ಗೂ ತುಂಬ ಪೇಷನ್ಸ್ ಇಂದ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರು ಅಂಡ್ ತುಂಬಾ ವಿಷಯಗಳು ನಮ್ಗೆ ಯಾರಿಗೂ ಗೊತ್ತು ಇರಲಿಲ್ಲ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಲಾಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೆಡಿಕಲ್ ಟರ್ಮ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಇಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ನಮ್ಮ ಮನಸ್ಸಲ್ಲಿರುವಂತಹ ಅವ್ರು ಹೇಳ್ದಂಗೆ ಓವರ್ ಥಿಂಕಿಂಗ್ ಮಾಡಿ ನಾವು ತುಂಬಾ ಯೋಚನೆ ಮಾಡಿರ್ತೀವಿ ಎಸ್ ಸೊ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಇಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ರಿಯಲಿ ನೈಸ್ ದಟ್ ಯು ಯು ನೋ ಟುಕ್ ದ ಟೈಮ್ ಔಟ್ ಟು ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೇನ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಐ ಥಿಂಕ್ ಯು ಸ್ಪೋಕ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ easiest language for the way you spoke also was very easy without using too many medical jargons you know so we everybody can understand what you've spoken so i want to thank you for actually joining us today and telling us all these things doctor so thank you neetu for the, <laughs> the interview for the kind words and kind introduction and kind discussion. everything is explained in detail but because you are in a glam field you should tell them what exactly in this field because there are a lot of misconceptions which are there yes yes so it has to reach to wide public and what i feel always i always say one thing and finally i conclude it <coughs> so life is like a journey the lesser the luggage the longer the journey that's, that's what i always feel. that's absolutely people should true. think about it yes. what i am saying yes. and uh, at least make small small changes which can make them physically fit You're for right. a walk waking up early <laughs> and uh, use at least i feel a biggest uh, gift a person can give for himself is a treadmill please everyone buy a treadmill walk at least in a treadmill if you yeah. can't walk outside right. you don't have because in this city space yes. you don't find much space to walk and all yes. this stuff do treadmill at least 30 minutes per day right 25 minutes at least make your uh, physical fitness allow so what happens is your basal metabolic rate will be maintained right so you don't gain much weight <clears throat> yeah and don't overthink also like yeah. you said yeah <laughs> no but thank you so much yeah. doctor because really now you know when i came here i myself also had a lot of rebellious thoughts in mind because uh, it looks to me like you know there's a lot of pressure and that's why we are pushed to do certain things but yeah. actually you made it sound like there is a lot of support system there's is pillows you can always jump back and there are people to hold you Correct. that is very assuring doctor so thank you so much and it was a thank pleasure you. really interviewing you it's thank a you, lot thank of you knowledge much. thank you so much thank so ishta to kelidiri i am sure that nimgellarigu thumba information sikkide anta and thumba easy aagi helidare so thank you so much for joining us bye